The journey coming from the abacus to the creation of the pascaline and to smartphones can be called as the digital revolution. Digital revolution is defined as the evolution of technologies from mechanical to analog and to digital technology. Digital revolution has four stages, the pre-mechanical, mechanical technology, analog technology, and digital technology. Pre-mechanical can be dated back between 3000 BC and 1450 AD. During this time, humans used drawings called petroglyphs to communicate with each other. They were drawn on rocks and wet clays to create a record. This eventually led to the creation of the first writing system known as cuneiform. Then later on, the Phoenician alphabet was created which is a simplified writing technique that became popular creating more recorded information. With the creation of the alphabet, the number system was also created. One of the known ancient inventions is the abacus and was invented to perform basic arithmetic operations. From pre-mechanical, we're moving to mechanical technology. The mechanical technology is connected to the current technology that we use today. New technologies emerged during this time as the interest in computing and information heightened. Notable inventions during this period was the slide rule, the earliest analog computer used to multiply and divide. The Pascal line, which is the first calculator to be invented, it is an arithmetic machine that was created by Blaise Pascal, and during the late stage of the mechanical technology, Charles Babbage invented the analytic engine, which is a simple mechanical computer. With the interest growing during the mechanical stage, more technologies were invented during the analog technology. Analog technology uses signals represented by physical quantities such as electricity to present information. During the analog technology, the early inventions of telecommunication emerged and radios were manufactured. The Morse code and analog computer were also created during this time. Almost all of the inventions in this period was marked as a stepping stone for the emergence of new technologies to make the initial inventions more simple. With the will to improve the inventions that is created during the analog technology, it moves to digital technology. Digital technology are technologies that generate, stores, and process data. The inventions during the analog technology was improved in this time and is now the technology that we all use today. In this stage, several technological innovations were invented and improved. Some of these are the internet, digital computers, and digital cellular phones. Just like any other inventions, the internet was improved over time. It was first invented in 1969 by the U.S. Defense Department's Advanced Research Project Agency and was first known as ARPANET. It was used to communicate from one computer to another. During the 1970s, the internet developed continuously and the internet protocol was created. It was described as the bridge that makes two different computers meet in a virtual space. Further improving the invention, World Wide Web was introduced in 1991. It was invented to serve as a place where people on the internet can obtain information other than just sending files. Internet is now one of the most used digital technology invention. The internet was created to make two computers communicate with each other. Now what is a computer? Digital computers are the improved version of the analog computers created during the analog technology. Unlike analog computers that manipulate electronic signals, digital computers manipulate symbols. Digital computers perform arithmetic and logical operations with the use of binary numbers. The Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, or ENIAC, was created during the 1946. It is a computing machine and the first electronic computer that uses vacuum tubes as their active logic elements, which increase their operating speed. Further improvements made on the computer hardware was the creation of transistors, integrated circuits, and microprocessors that made remarkable advances to meet the current computers that we use today. Different kinds of computers with different purposes were also invented, and those are the supercomputers, mainframe computers, mini computers, workstations, and personal computers. Moving to the invention that everyone uses every day is the digital cellular phones, also known as the smartphones or mobile phones. Digital cellular phones were first created in 1973, which weighed 2 kilograms and took 10 hours to charge. And in 1983, the first commercial mobile phone, a Motorola Dynatac 8000, was made public costing 4,000 US dollars. It became popular and developed on having a digital screen, and Nokia taking this advantage created the Nokia 1011 in 1992. Further improvements of the invention were first seen in 1999 when Nokia introduced 7110, the first device that uses wireless access protocol, meaning to say that it can access the internet wirelessly. The first camera phone was introduced in 2000 by Sharp in Japan, 
and on 2002, Sony introduced a phone with clip-on camera, furthering the interest on camera phones. The invention of 3G made the download speed on mobile phones up to 2 Mbps and on 2003, video call was made possible. From simple to smart, touchscreens replaced the traditional keypad. From 3G, it went to 4G, making the download speed up to 12 Mbps. Digital screens were made better and bigger, and video calling capabilities improved significantly. Security features were also implemented, from passwords to fingerprint scanning and to the current face recognition, making the use of the cellular phones more simple and smarter. From carvings to the present digital globalization, this sums up the journey of the digital revolution, from pre-mechanical to mechanical to analog and to digital, as well as the emergence of the internet, digital computers, and digital cellular phones.